number seven. Number seven is asking the quotient of a number d decreased by seven and negative two is 10. So this is kind of an odd question here. It's not asking me anything. So quotient, maybe it's telling me a right expression of a number decreased, decreased by seven and negative two is negative 10. So when we talk about quotient here, it's something divided by something, right? So that's that's the definition of a quotient. A quotient of a number is, and I can say the let the number here be x, right? So I obviously have a have a variable here. So let x equals be the unknown unknown number, and then I can say here it's being decreased by seven and negative two, right? So if it's being seven being decreased by seven and negative two. You can also say that it's being decreased by negative nine, right? Because it can do simply just, um, it's being decreased here by both these numbers here. So what I can do is I can actually simplify this, uh, this expression and say that it's being decreased by seven and negative two. So it's being decreased by simply just negative nine. I can add negative nine or you can think of it as I'm subtracting nine here, right? Because I know seven minus, um, seven plus minus two here is, um, I'm oh, sorry, negative seven uh, plus minus two here would give me negative nine. So this here, this entire, um, this entire statement here uh, basically simplifies to negative nine. So basically my expression here is very, very simple now. It's just the quotient of a number here. So X is divided by something uh, by basically negative nine here equals negative 10. So this here is my expression for this solution here. Uh, they wrote here x divided by negative 2 minus 7 equals negative 10. This works as well, except they didn't simplify, but that's totally fine. What we can do is we can actually solve this problem, right? We can also take a step further and solve this problem. So I can simply multiply both sides by negative 9, and I would get x by itself here on the left side equals negative 10 times negative 9. Just multiplying both sides by negative 9 here. So these two cancel out. And then x would be 90, right? Negative 10 times negative 9 here, the negatives cancel out. 10 times 9 here equals 90. So this here is actually the solution to my problem. And I can say that 90 divided by uh, 7, uh, negative 2 minus 7 here equals negative 10. So this here is uh, our correct solution and answer here. So this solution, I'll say solution is correct, however, incomplete, incomplete. So I can say here, um, x divided by, basically this here is negative 9 equals negative 10. And then I can say here, x equals uh, negative 10 times negative 9. So x here would equal, would equal 90 here. So I'm solving for the expression as well. So solution here is, I'll say it's correct, but uh, they forgot to solve for the solution here.